saying his name, Tom Keith. On the night of August 16, 1899, a white mob lynched an elderly African-American man named Tom Keith after he was accused of falling asleep in the same room with white children. Mr. Keith, who was described in news reports as old and trusted, lived in the home of his white employer, J.B. Hawkins Jr., and worked as a longtime employee on Hawkins Farm in Greenville. On August 16th, news spread that Mr. Hawkins had found Mr. Keith asleep in the same room as his daughter and son. He reportedly struck Mr. Keith on the head with a gun, waking him violently. Mr. Keith explained that he must have wandered into the room by accident after drinking the night before. When he was told to pack his things and leave town or else Hawkins would kill him, Mr. Keith left. When the story reached Mr. Hawkins' white neighbors, they became enraged and organized a mob of white men to find Mr. Keith. Available reports do not confirm exactly where the mob found Mr. Keith, but it likely captured him somewhere along or near what is now Roe Ford Road. The mob tied Mr. Keith to a tree, shot him multiple times, and weighed down his body with stones and threw him into the Saluda River. Many black people were lynched based on unconfirmed suspicions of wrongdoing before they ever had a chance to stand trial or defend themselves. No one who participated in the mob was held accountable for Tom Keith's lynching. Tom Keith.